In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to host your own website locally so you can do some testing or anything like that. So um, first thing you want to do is download something called WAMP, uh, WAMP server, and you can uh, download it just by you know hitting the down, uh, download ver version. Either you need to use 64-bit or 32-bit uh, depending on your um, you know computer. And if you if you're still using Windows 7 or like older versions, you will want to click this uh, specific link over here because it goes to the older versions. Newer versions are for like Windows 10. I tried a newer version for my Windows 7 computer, it didn't work. So the next thing you want to download is uh, WordPress.org. You can just uh, left click the download button, and you know it'll um, give you a, a specific uh, folder. This one over here. See WordPress zip and it'll give you some files over here that will be uh, useful uh, momentarily so uh, once you've downloaded both both of those things you want to make sure you install the WAMP um, over here and then you'll get something like this over here and it's green right now showing you that it's um, that the um, that the services are on and so if you left click PHP by admin you'll be able to um, you know see the uh, different um, um, P, uh, PHP tables that are um, available. Now the thing you want to do first is um, let's see, once you've uh, installed um, WAMP you want to go to computer and make sure you install it on the C drive and just makes it easier for you to find it and so my WAMP is over here in the C drive and then uh, there's uh, the www folder you left click that and then over here, you uh, make a folder that will store your web, uh, WordPress website uh, files. So you right click, you hit new, and you make a new folder. I'll call it, um, I don't know, rock. I'll call it rock. Rock's fine. And so now the next thing you want to do is go to the um, WAMP icon over here. Go to PHP My Admin. And then go to Databases and then uh, put in a name for the database which is which will be rock which is fine and now the database is made so once you've done that you go into the rock folder there's nothing in here but remember we downloaded the wordpress files so go ahead and get those wordpress files and that'll be right over here wordpress wordpress all you do is uh, control a control c and control v into the uh, rock folder once you've uh, done that you find where it says uh, wconfig sample you right click and open it with either notepad or notepad plus plus either does the same thing really this one is just easier to read and so where it says database uh, name over here call it rock that's what we called it before uh, username so the next thing I want to do is um, see where it says username You'll c you can call that root and for password, we don't want a password, so we're just going to dele delete that like that. And just leave the two single quotations. I'll uh, hit the Control S on my keyboard. I'll close my Notepad++. Uh, the WP config sample, we just take out the sample part, and we can use that uh, file in and of itself. And so now, what you do is open up your website, or, you know, your browser, and just type in local ho localhost, like that and then the name of the um, server which is or I should say database which is rock oops I put a period in there let me fix that like that there we are you hit the continue button and uh, you can choose your site name I'll call it rock site uh, username will be admin password will be admin since this is just for testing I'm not gonna put on the internet uh, I'll confirm the weak password and you just put in an email like uh, yeah I'll put in my email and uh, install WordPress and uh, that's all there is to it in the next tutorial I plan to show you how to uh, check your backups if you use uh, my uh, the updraft um, plugin for backing up your website And there you are, you're right into your uh, WordPress website. Yeah, I can go ahead and show you. It looks just like this, see? This is very uh, useful if you wanna just uh, mess around with the website, do tweaks and such. 
and make it not show on your uh, website that is already being hosted on the internet. So, you know, you don't want to show people that you're doing testing. That's all there is to it. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate it if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye.